Hey there, this is Season 5, Episode 44 of The Chris Abraham Show, and I am just basically doing a uh, an ad hoc episode where I admit that I'm a terrible advocate for anything because the more bizarre the world becomes, the more I'm interested in seeing how much more bizarre it can become. So it's actually, uh, actually the way I live my life is sadly, uh, go ahead, go ahead. I challenge you. It's like, it's like that scene in West Wing where, uh, what's his name is uh, yelling and baiting God like is that all you got is that all you got um president president uh president what's his name and uh I'm like you guys are telling me that um that the end is nigh you're telling me that they're going to make uh internal combustion engine illegal and they're going to outlaw like gas stoves and they're going to make motorcycles illegal and they're going to make um, owning um, property illegal and they're going to uh, quote whop us with another uh, lockdown and there's going to be climate lockdown or uh, the world is so hot or the river is boiling or all these other things I'm the worst person to depend upon for wanting change because the only thing I care about is that people get fed and people get housed and people are treated with kindness uh, no matter who they are like no punching Nazis no punching fascists in the same way that there's no punching trans people and no punching gay people and no punching black people and no punching Asian people and no punchy, no punching Trumpies and no punching anybody, right? Equally. Not a uh, uh, punch fascist or punch Nazis thing. Like, everybody has to be given the compassion and kindness and love. Otherwise, you'll just reinforce behavior. Uh, a beat dog um, ends up biting. A, uh, and, and hurt people hurt people. So the more you can bring people into the fold and love on people, not bait and switch, but literally love on people, the better. So outside of just wanting people to make sure that they're fed, treated kindly, have a place to sleep, and uh, that's it. Uh, food, water, shelter. Uh, as long as that is taken care of, and I care about it, uh, you know, uh, think globally, act locally. I erase the think globally because I constantly, every day, uh, recite the uh, serenity prayer to myself, which is, um, uh, God grant me the serenity to uh, fix the things I can change and the wisdom and not fix the things I can't change and the wisdom to know the difference or God grant me the serenity to accept the things 
that I can change, change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, amen, or something like that. So, like, the thought in my head doesn't have to be exact. Like, I say to myself, uh, how much control do I have over this? Or how much of my energy towards fretting or worrying about the end is nigh? Like, how much of it is... Uh, do I have any remote control over, right? Hey, howdy. Hey. How's, how's your luck? Going good? Pretty good. Solid run. Nothing crazy. Well, I didn't win the, I didn't win the lottery again, so you're doing better than me. <laughs> but when I come here with um, wearing a, uh, a mink stole or a sable uh, coat, you'll know that I finally hit the lottery. <laughs> All right. That's good to know. See you at the library yeah. or, at, or at Starbucks. Probably. Have a good day. Anyway, uh, the wisdom to know the difference is different, right? Like, all y'all see me on social media trolling and so forth. But I feel like a lot of all y'all's energy is, like, spent on things that don't remotely affect you or me. Like, I live a small life. Like, I, I got rid of all my vehicles until I got skinny again because... I tend to always throw, in fact, I've stopped using those e-bikes because I found myself using them as crutches. I haven't used an e-bike in three weeks because I, I realized that I was using e-bikes all the time. And, uh, and when I really wanted to ride e-bikes all the time, they were everywhere. And now that I don't want to use e-bikes, they're nowhere. Which is to say that uh, we live in a uh, simulation and the more that people can convince you that crazy shit is happening, the more that those things can be manifest into reality. So I'm that kind of hippie. Do you ever wonder what, 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 uh, what flavor of weirdo I am? I believe that, uh, that the concerted wishes of a large number of people, no matter whether it's for the honoring and adoration of God or for uh, a crazy obsession that the water's boiling, I dare say that who needs harp? Who needs harp or, or, or um, weather satellites or any other kind of things that the Chinese admit that they had during the Chinese Olympics? I believe that the will of people, whether it's done in meditation and prayer, or just by putting things, I think tweets are like little prayers, right? If you get people to constantly obsess over trans rights or Asian rights or uh, LGBTQIA rights or, or equity versus equality and justice for thee but not for me, justice for me but not for thee, Freedom for thee, but not for me. Freedom for me, but not for thee. If you play all those games, um, and if you come across as a big, fat hypocrite, where you want all your rights, but you don't want people who you call irresponsible to have their rights, while they're saying, why would anybody with blue hair be responsible for, for uh, deciding whether or not I speak my truth? And then this noble obligation of people feeling like they have the ability to decide if someone else is saying something that might affect someone else in a bad way. Uh, it's like if my mom knew that I was going to talk stink about the, uh, the um, dirty laundry in my my uh, in my mo mom's family and my dad's family closets, then she would create a law that would prevent me from talking about dirty laundry in my parents' and grandparents' closets, saying things like, um, "We're preventing that for national security, which is nat national secrecy, which is she just is, would be too embarrassed if the truth got out." And there might be real ramifications and things you have to pay for, right? That's exactly why freedom of speech is so important. It is uh, 
like the sun it is. And whenever, like, people really care about open kimono or, or, the, or sunlight is the best disinfectant, except when it's their own stink, right? Like, people were plenty happy um, making spurious, spurious cases out of nowhere just to impeach Trump. But when people use the same strategy, which is spurious cases to um, impeach Biden, then you got to know that uh, that the entire world is a, a petty, uh, a petty teenager. The entire world works just like uh, middle school. I'm surprised. I mean, who doesn't think that the Republicans are maybe more mature than the Democrats? Uh, because honestly, Biden hasn't been impeached four times yet. So none of these accusations, the accusations of Trump over January 6th was, which was spurious, January 6th, uh, January 6th was spurious. It's all hyperbole to get us all ginned up. And since you all do not have aphantasia, you all are like madly visualizing terrible things. And no matter how much Russic Gate is debunked, or no matter how much, you know, we end up finding out that, uh, you know, all the acquit, uh, all the accusations against Trump and all the indictments and so forth, don't end up ru- don't end up with him in jail, and end up being completely overturned by the Supreme Court. It doesn't matter. Like people will just remember that. Trump was impeached 12 times. By the way, he was never kicked out of office. Um, Trump was indicted 75 times. By the way, he was never convicted. Trump was was civilly sued 255 times and uh, never was, never resulted in, uh, in anything negative and it was all just settled or thrown out of court or not accepted in court anyway. So... That's what's going on. I'm just watching with a terrible desire to see how crazy it actually gets. Like, words are one thing. I mean, I expected to be thrown into a FEMA camp by now, or re-education camp, or I expected to go um, into... I expected to... I don't know. The world was over. I I expected nuclear war before, uh, you know, not long after 1988. I totally expected nuclear war, right? Why not? Um, So, unless I actually see stuff happen with my own eyes, I assume that God doesn't exist. I assume that UFOs don't exist. I assume that Sasquatch doesn't exist. I assume that... uh, I don't even, you know, I don't like... I don't even know truly if Ukraine war is happening or if World War II happened the way it was told or, or, you know, whether this is just an elaborate wag the dog strategy because we are small people who live in small places and we receive uh, the various and sundry news from TV production studios. And we know that TV production studios have an elaborate ability to make very convincing movies and films and TV shows. So once I see uh, the actual world completely falling apart, first person, then I'm just going to assume that it's, uh, it's just, it's just, um, uh, what is it? Smell-o-vision. It's 3D smell-o-vision um, and They're all just storytelling via the media channels. When I went around the world, everybody was nice. Everybody was gentle. Everybody was loving. Everybody went out of their way to be kind to me. Everywhere I've ever been, people have been kind to me. I haven't been kidnapped or carjacked or or punched in the face. Um, The only violence I've ever been embedded in are violence events that I've that I've been the victor because I'm preemptive and violent uh, and cruel and uh, I do not hesitate because I'm always afraid of 
someone punching out the teeth that my mom spent thousands of dollars uh, fixing with the orthodentist, orthodontics, orthodentist, orth, ortho, blah, blah, blah. So that's it. I'm a terrible advocate because I don't believe anything anybody tells me. I believe it's all psyops. I believe it's all hearts and minds. I believe it's all the fog of war. I believe it's all wag the dog. I believe that it's all being there with Peter Sellers. I believe that it's a grand... I believe that the world is WWE. I believe that Donald Trump is the heel and Joe Biden is the face. And I believe that everything's going to be all right. 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 Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoy this. I'll call this a special episode. Mahalo. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.